Hello everyone, so this is the last video for the image filtering module, so the second module, before we move on to the uh, image segmentation module. And in this video we're going to be talking about the half transform, and in particular the uh, uh, half line transform, which is a post-processing that we can do uh, after, the, uh, after having done uh, edge detection, with for instance the uh, Kanye algorithm that we saw in the previous video. And the idea with the F-transform is that we want to uh, detect uh, in a edge uh, image uh, where are the uh, straight lines. So with the uh, with the line transform, we can o there is also a version of the F-transform where we can uh, detect uh, circles, for instance. Uh, here we'll focus on the uh, straight lines. So this is something that can be useful, for instance, if we want to uh, detect the uh, vanishing points in a natural image, or if we uh, want to detect um, artificial structures in an image. So for instance, uh, uh, in a, bu a building, we will often have uh, straight lines, or we could use that uh, on satellite images to find uh, where the, the wh if there are some uh, straight uh, roads, uh, to find, uh, I don't know, the map of a, a city uh, like in the, in the United States with uh, straight lines, to, you, can, uh, you can fairly easily find, find uh, the, um, them uh, with uh, with this kind of, of transform. So there are there are different uh, uses, and it's a relatively easy and fast uh, algorithm to uh, to use. Uh, so we are going to uh, have a look at it. Um, so first, to to kind of try to to really understand what the F transform uh, does, let's take a look at a uh, fake image. And this uh, fake image that I've done here is just uh, completely empty aside from one pixel, so this pixel here in uh, position 50, 0, that I've put at uh, 1. And so what happens if I try to uh, compute the, um, the half transform on that, uh, on that image? Well, we'll see that that uh, single pixel will be associated to um, this uh, kind of wavy line, so there shouldn't be uh, any gap here, it's uh, uh, an artifact uh, of the uh, Matplotlib uh, view. Um, so we have this kind of wavy uh, line, and this line corresponds to uh, the equation of all the straight lines that we can make through this uh, single uh, pixel. So for all of these uh, straight lines will be associated to a distance of their norm to the origin, and the angle of the of that uh, of that uh, normal uh, with the uh, y, uh, x axis. So, for instance, here um, we have the position. Uh, we, we can see that it goes through the position zero zero. So that means that we have a straight line that goes through the um, through the origin. So the distance to the origin will be uh, zero, and the norm will be here. Um, so if we have this uh, this uh, straight line, the normal will be uh, parallel to the x-axis, and so the angle will be zero as well. Um, so if we start adding more dots, let's actually do it that way. So for instance, here, if we start adding adding more pixels to to this line, we will um, be adding more lines. Uh, to this uh, half transform, and again we lay for each of those pixels the same. Um, so all of the all of the lines that go through each of those pixels, and the idea is that the longer, if we have a longer line, so if we have a line that goes through uh, the entire um, the entire image, for instance, we'll see that all of those uh, possible uh, lines that we have for each pixel, we, we will accumulate them, but they all go through the same uh, point here. And this point uh, will correspond to the uh, actual equation of the, of the of the line that we that we have done. So for each of those um, points, we have a lot of different uh, lines, lines which are all different for each other. But they will all have also the same uh, line, which is which has a norm of uh, which has a normal, which makes an angle of 90 degrees with the x-axis, and which has a distance to the origin of. Uh, 50, and this is uh, what we have here. So the uh, an angle of uh, 90 degrees and a distance to the origin 
of uh, 50 and so all of those possible lines go through the same uh, points and so with the once we have the f um, the f uh, space image here we can uh, find the with the method for instance of line peaks from um, from uh, scikit image uh, what it, it will do it will find the uh, local um, maxima uh, of the of the f transform and um, and return them and so we can have uh, so for each uh, for, for for this image we'll have one local uh, maximum which will be the uh, angle of 90 degrees and the uh, distance of uh, 50 around 50 pixels so um, this is of course for a uh, fairly uh, simple um, image so if I add another line for instance uh, let's add another line with a distance of 100 and I do the same thing here I will uh, again add a new uh, line to the um, to the to the F uh, transform and now I will have uh, two uh, maxima uh, which will be uh, those corresponding to a distance of uh, 100 and a distance of 50 and both with an angle of 90. So if now I'm, I start looking at, at a um, real image, so we'll be looking at the working the JPEG image again. Um, first I can uh, use the uh, Kenny Edge uh, detector to, uh, to find all of the uh, lines in the image. And now I can use the same, the same method, the same F transform on this uh, real image. And so each of the pixels that are white in this uh, edge image will be associated to a uh, wavy line here in the uh, F uh, space. And the idea is that all of the uh, pixels that are aligned and that form a straight line in the image should all converge through uh, one point in the uh, in the F space that will be therefore a local uh, maximum. Um, so let's uh, have a look at the result of the transform. As, as you can see in a real um, with, a, with a real image, we have of course something that is much harder to uh, process with the uh, human eye. But you can already see here that we have some convergence points. So if I zoom in. Uh, in here, for instance, here I have uh, an, an area that is uh, very, uh, very white, um, meaning that this is a local uh, maximum. Okay, and if I take a look from a bit further back, we see it a bit better that we have all of the, li the lines that go uh, through, through here and that all pass through the same point. That is an angle here of almost um, zero degree and uh, here it also a very uh, small distance. So this would correspond to, um, so as we've seen, an angle of, of, um, of zero degrees would mean that the, that the normal is uh, in this direction. Um, so that means that the line itself will be in this direction and a relatively small distance. So this is this might be uh, this line, for instance, um, or, or maybe a smaller one that we cannot really uh, really see here. It's it's a bit hard to tell uh, here. Um, so what we can do now is that we can find all of the local uh, maxima, and I can see that if I just use the default of line peaks. Uh, here I will have uh, 25 local maxima that are found um, with the um, offline peaks method. I can control, kind of control how many uh, local maxima it will find by um, using these. Uh, so mean distance and mean angle will determine uh, basically that the, the, the kind of region where we s look for the, for, for, the ma for the maximum. So we cannot have two local maxima that will be um, that will be. Um, closer together than this uh, minimum distance and minimum uh, angle. So this is to avoid, um, when because the signal is always a bit noisy, this is to avoid finding multiple local maxima that actually correspond to the, to the same line. We can also put a threshold on the uh, value in the accumulator, um, the sort of minimum value that you want to consider that it's a, uh, a line. And you can also just say that we only want the X uh, strongest uh, line. So, for instance, yeah, if I put um, uh, what's it, num peaks equal ten, then I will only get the ten uh, strongest uh, peaks. So let's, for the moment, have a look at the twenty-five. How can we uh, look at uh, those uh, lines? Well, the first thing we can do is to check where they are in the. Um, 
in the F uh, space. And so here I've marked all of the, um, all, all, all of the peaks uh, with a dot here. And I can see that they are almost all uh, around the uh, zero degree and around the minus 90 and plus 90 degree. So this is uh, fairly expected given the image that we have. Uh, all of the lines, most of the lines that we have are either hori horizontal lines or vertical, uh, or vertical lines. Uh, this is, uh, in, uh, again, in an uh, artificial structure, uh, this will uh, very often uh, be the case. Um, and now what we also uh, want to want generally to do is to display this uh, also in the original image. And so for that, um, we can go through all of the uh, peaks that we have. And for each of the peaks, we have the, uh, the angle and uh, the distance. And so this is uh, where we just have to uh, find out the equation uh, of the of the um, of the uh, line uh, in order to, to to display it. And if we uh, take a look at uh, what we what what we are doing, so uh, the um, the origin of the image is always uh, here on the on the on the top left. Uh, as I've said, we are measuring the what we have is the distance here to the line. Uh, so if this is the line that we are looking at, we have the distance to the line and we have the angle of the, uh, of the normal. So what is uh, sometimes a bit difficult uh, to, to, to uh, process um, because is that we are used to have, um, um, to have spaces with the, uh, with the, with the Y uh, going uh, up. Here this is um, uh, uh, an axis system where the uh, X goes from uh, left to right, but the Y goes from top to, uh, to bottom. And so the equation of the, um, of the line that we will have here will be uh, y equal uh, d minus x cos theta divided by uh, sine uh, of theta. Um, we can also, of course, reverse to get the x uh, because if, um, if we use uh, just that and we get an angle of uh, 90 degrees, um, we will um, so if you get an angle of zero, we'll get a divided by uh, by zero, uh, and the same for for the, for the other. So uh, it's very rare if we when we when we uh, do it on real image to have uh, exactly 90 degrees or exactly zero degrees. So normally the problem will not will not appear. But uh, if if you see a divided by zero error at some point, it's possible that it's uh, that you just have to to switch the the order. And so what we do is that we compute the um, the the position uh, so we take first x x zero equals zero so we look at uh, x equals zero and we look at this uh, where where this point uh, is so where where, where we uh, intersect with uh, the y axis um, and then we um, so for with y zero then we look at the same for x equal uh, in shape one, so this is this will be for uh, x uh, here, and we'll find where this uh, this point uh, is, and this gives us the uh, two points that we can uh, plot, and so if we uh, if we just do that, uh, we will not see anything because uh, here we are also looking outside of the of the uh, of the image. So in this case, uh, if we even if we look at this. Um <coughs> This line will have uh, it will go from here to somewhere uh, up over here. If we have something that is almost uh, almost vertical, and we have a lot of those lines here, uh, the the intersections with the uh, with these two um, uh, axes will be uh, with the two edges of the image will be very very far down and up, and so that's why we have uh, these lines that go m a lot further than the image. And the image is lost somewhere here in the in the in the middle. So here I, go, I see that I go to uh, y equals uh, 65,000 and something. Um, so this is why we limit the uh, x and y axis to the shape of the, uh, of the image. And in that way, we can have the, um, the detected uh, lines that, that, that are uh, overlaid over the uh, original image. So we can see all of the lines that we detected. And so again, if we want to um, if we want to, we can uh, limit uh, the, uh, n for instance, the number of peaks that we find. We could say, okay, I only want the ten strongest uh, peaks. I can look at them in the F space, and I can look at the ten lines with the strongest uh, edges uh, in my image. And so this uh, gives me some information here. Um, I could use that information to find out um, kind of the perspective of the image in this case. Uh, 
um, and also just to detect that it's uh, very probably a uh, a uh, man-made structure that, uh, that we are looking at in the photograph since we have so many uh, straight uh, perpendicular uh, lines going on. So that's uh, the Earth transform and that's it for this uh, image filtering module and starting from the next video we'll uh, be looking at uh, image segmentation uh, techniques. Um, so that's it and I will see you in the next video.